Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to use compression. And compression is one of them tools that if you use it too much, then you're just going to basically destroy your entire song. So you really want to just use it in very minimal dosages, very small amounts, but it can actually make a massive difference. And I'm going to be soloing this drum channel that I've got and I'm going to be putting a compressor on it. So this is the, the song, I'll just play the, a bit of the song. I'm going to solo the drums. I'm going to turn this up a bit just for the sake of this video. Right, so let's add a compressor onto this. And a compressor on drums, on a drum channel, can actually bring out the entire sound of the drum kit. It's amazing out what a difference it can make. It's just, just the smallest amount of compression can just boost the entire kit. It can give it more energy. It can give the cymbals more energy. It just sounds amazing on drums. Right, so let's open a compressor by clicking on that. I'm going to click this E to load it up. Uh, basically, all I'm looking at when I use a compressor here, this is the main thing I'm looking at. This is the overall reduction of the the track. And this is the threshold. This is what I'm going to use to bring down the compression. Like... This is going to adjust all of the dynamics and stuff and compress it. But when I move that down, this reduction is going to show. And the more I move it, the more reduction. I'm also going to take off the auto makeup on this because I want to explain how to use that as well. So let's reset these by clicking on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my ears and I'm, I'm going to bring down the threshold on this track and I basically just want to find that sweet spot on the music where it doesn't sound overly compressed but it, there's a difference so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to bring this channel down until we can hear that difference You should start seeing it compressing in a minute. So that's given us 3.77 decibels of reduction. And it's always a good idea to bypass the channel as well, so then you can hear what it sounds like with and without and just see if it's made a difference. So this is with compression and then I'm going to flick it off. So there's actually a slight difference in the high end frequencies. The um, w Without it, it sounds like there's more high end. So. This is obviously bringing that snare drum down slightly on the compression. So what I'm going to do is we're getting 3.77 decibels of reduction but the track is actually 10.5 decibel quiet so we could actually bring up the makeup on this track to my, to buy 10.5 plus 10.5 decibels and it would still give us 0 dB. So let's try that. You see that overall output going up. So now you can hear that's a massive difference. If I bypass the channel again, so this is with. And that's without. I 
And the reason why it's clipping is because I've boosted the channel here. I've got to put it back to 0 dB and reset these clips. So that's without any compression and then with. In fact, I think there's a slightly too much compression there, so I'm going to roll it off. And every time you make a change, it's a good idea to click on these just to refresh it. So you can see that's a massive difference on drums and they actually it actually does sound like there's more energy on the, the kit as well. So if I bypass it again. So that's with. See that's just one effect. If I start putting EQs on it and saturation effects and things like that, then you can get a really decent drum sound. I actually wouldn't boost it this much. This is just for an example. I'd probably I'd probably try and aim for like minus one or two dB on the output because then you've got a little bit of headroom for other things. Um, the ratio, I've got it set to two. This is basically, if I push this higher, like three or four, it compresses it a lot more. So that's pretty much it for the compressor. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.